In this video, I will teach you how to do subsurface scattering in Blender, which is, for example, used for skin and other surfaces with various degrees of translucency. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube. Then press Shift A, and we're going to add a monkey. And then press Control 4 to add four subdivisions. And then I'm going to increase the number of subdivisions in the render as well. Then we can add some smooth shading. And then before we add the subsurface scattering shader, we can add some basic lighting. So I'm going to turn this uh, light source into a spotlight. And then you can press R to rotate, and then R twice to rotate the uh, spotlight freely. And I'm going to set it around here. And then next, we can press Shift A, and I'm going to add an additional light as well to see the subsurface scattering effect itself. So let's increase the strength. And then I'm going to use cycles. We're going to check out uh, EV later. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. Okay, so now that we have the light setup, we can uh, add the subsurface scattering shader. So add a new material, and then set the surface to uh, subsurface scattering. And as you can see, the point light now glows through the surface of the monkey. And then when we press G to grab the point light, you can see that when we move it, it uh, glows through different parts of the monkey. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, works great in cycles. And if we switch to EV, we can also get the same effect. It's not going to look as great, but uh, there is still an effect. Especially if you go down to the material settings and then enable subsurface translucency, you can see that the effect works much better. We can also go in to the render settings and increase the quality of the subsurface scattering in Eevee. So we'll go down to subsurface scattering and increase the number of samples, as well as the jitter threshold, which makes it look better. 